Hey, what up YouTube? This is your president, the Presidential Terrace, back with another video. I'm in Brandon, Florida. I've been passing by this place for a while. It's a historical cemetery, as you can see there's a historical sign. There's actually a couple of them, which is pretty rare, but it's usually at one location, it's usually just a one. This is one is for the Brandon Family Cemetery, which is right behind here. Fortunately, it's locked, I can't get in. But there is a phone number for a couple of people to call that might be able to get me in there and let me do a tour. And the other historical marker is for that, I believe, let me see. Yeah, one of those, and they tend to be rare now, Confederate monument. But anyways, I'm gonna show a little bit of this from the outside, but uh, I won't be able to get too close, unfortunately. Most of the time I drove by here, there hasn't been anyone in here and it's been locked. There's only like one time, right? but I couldn't stop at the time. I think it was just that it's upkeeping it. It's not a very large cemetery, I know that. Basically just this. And the traffic, or the parking, is not very good. There's definitely a lot of cars. Not an easy place to get to. I'll show a closer up of the um, two plaques in a minute. I was going to do this separate, you know, um, a video just on that monument and then a video on the cemetery. But since I'm not really getting as good of an angle of it as I thought, I might just put them together. This fence is taller looking than um, from when I drove by. And. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that angle. I would like to do that angle, but uh, there's not really a sidewalk there, and I don't really want to get on top of that. I'll go over there and see in a minute. I wish I could do better for you guys now, but this isn't going to be pretty good, very good as much as I would like. You can almost read that. But, uh, yeah, a lot of these Confederate monuments, you know, and the issues with them being torn down and moved, uh, this one's generally safe because it is in a cemetery. Um, the only other one I ever filmed was in Lakeland. They moved that to, uh, I read up on it, and I gotta do an update video on it. They moved that to a cemetery, I believe. Let's go look at those signs. Let's do the first one here. Okay, I'll read it, but uh, Memora in Eterna, 1911, Harrisville County Confederate Monument. Okay, location 1952 following completion of the new Hillsborough County Courthouse in 1996. Harrisville County collaborate with the National Institute for the conservation of cultural property, save our sculpture to assess the condition of this prominent sculpture. The county completed the thorough cleaning and conservation treatment, but did not restore the broken rifles in order to maintain the original integrity of the historic piece. The Confederate battle flag is depicted on the front of the work and it dates 1861-1865 return to the beginning and ending of the, civil war, the war between the states. The poem on the east side was written by Sister Esther Carlotta a Roman Catholic nun who was president of the Florida Division of the United Dollars of the Confederacy in 1911. The soldier facing north has been interpreted as the determined warrior facing the invader at the beginning of the war, while the heroic youth facing the south is seen returning home from the conflict in a tattered uniform, wounded but not forgotten. Looks like this was erected in 1997 by the Tampa Historical Society. Tampa chapter number 113, United Dollars of the Confederacy, James B. Hayward, Commander John T. Leslie Kent, number uh, 1282, Sons of the Confederate Veterans. So that's the one. And the other one's over here. And this one's for this for the cemetery itself. Uh, I may be able to get around. Maybe I'll show you another uh, location. Let me read this one too. The earliest marked grave date 1857 was that of Susan Carson, mother of Martha Carson. 
Brandon, traveling by wagon train, John Brandon, his wife Martha, cousin of Kit Carson, and six sons left Mississippi and arrived at Fort Brooks, Tampa in 1857. John acquired land in what now is Brandon. They worked the land until tragedy struck when John's boy Martha died in 1867. John moved away in 1868, married Victoria Varn, a widow with two children. In 1874, they moved back to New Hope, Brandon, and established their homestead. John helped start the first school, donate land for a church and the New Hope Cemetery. John Brandon died in 1886 and was buried in this cemetery. The Brandon uh, name is carried on probably by the descendants of John, many of whom reside locally. And that's why Brandon, Florida is called Brandon, Florida. And if you look on the headstones, you see a lot of the name Brandon on there. I can see it. I'm not sure how well you can. Let me see if I can get around here. I don't know. No, they have this pretty well locked up tight. This fence doesn't look particularly that old. So I'm not sure how long it's been there. I'm going to go over to this corner and see if I can get around. I don't know, there's no sidewalk. There's like a ledge down here. That's what I was hoping to do, but it's a little bit more sketchier. And I don't really want to uh, get run over by a car. Not today, it's kind of a, be a bad deal. Let's see. Maybe I can go around. Looks like people walk here. Oh, this isn't gonna be too bad. You can do it. It's a little kind of disorienting. So those cars are actually pretty close. Can we get a closer look at the memorial? As you can tell, that's how close I am. It does not feel very safe. It is. There's the flag right there. Ooh, spider, spider, yeah. I don't like spiders. I'm gonna have to call that number. Hopefully they'll let me in there and let me uh, film and do a little tour of it. So I can actually show you better. There's, it looks like another memorial thing in the bottom of that flag. Let's go a little bit farther. I think people walk here because it's pretty worn. There's a few of the graves. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a lot of spider webs right there. Cool. Let's go down here. Let's see. Uh, I won't lie, I don't actually like doing this. Ooh, I might be able to get a little bit more on that side. Let's see. Show you like a little walk around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh. This shows you the angle here. A little bit. You can see that pretty well. I don't know how interesting this video is going to be. Because I'm kind of looking in from the outside. I'm not going to go any farther. There's a lot of bushes and stuff there anyways, but... Okay. I just got to get back. Ooh, okay. Well, thank God I'm in such great shape. There's a little one right there. I didn't even see that. Okay. I wanted to film that. And this is how crazily close I am to the traffic. We have a couple benches in there. I 
find these things interesting. Cemeteries like this is interesting because there's a lot of history here. And you gotta try not to forget the people that came before us. We're only here because of them. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here because I don't actually like this. This is kind of scary. I won't lie. So I'm gonna carry you until I get back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's really close. Okay, ooh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, that breeze, jeez, I'm getting out of here. I don't like this. But okay, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll carry you till you get around the corner. But uh, this is it. Let's end it right by those signs again. Show you that one more time. And there's a little low in traffic, so. Oh, oh, oh boy. I won't lie. Like I said, that was actually kind of scary, guys. Ooh. Looks like people left some groceries. All right, one last time here at the one sign for the Confederate Monument. And one thing I want to check is this double sided? No, that's blank. Most of the time they're double sided, but this is the second one I found that's not. And to be honest, it would be foolish to have a double sided because no one's going to see that side, anyways. Now let's check this one over here. See, like I said, it's locked. This one I think is double sided. Yeah. This one is. I don't think that one was, unless I missed it. All right, I have their phone number. I'm gonna try to give them a call. I doubt I'll be able to do that now, though. Oh, oh this one was uh, put in here in 1990. I don't know if I mentioned that. But all right, I don't know how interesting this is, but I think it's interesting. Any comments or questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody, bye. This, wait, let me just make sure this isn't double-sided. I thought oh, I felt it wasn't. No, no, it is double-sided. It's, it is. Like I said, most of the time they are. I found a few that wasn't. Okay, any comments, questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye.